Welcome, listeners. This week on Just Neapolitan, we dive together, or we don't dive at all. Joined by Floyd and Eddie, and I'm your resident, told you so, Brian. How you boys doing? I am all right. I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be a fun little, uh, you know, one of my favorite things is just to be right. Boy, do I get to be right this episode. Oh, what are you going to be right about today? Uh, the company's sucking. Didn't see that uh, one coming. Which one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a few, actually. <laughs> Ooh. Like I always do. But first things first. You know, roll the die. Go to the list. What's your alignment? <laughs> ah, fucking balls drop the die again but i had already rolled it so it didn't matter <laughs> also i did not plan us to get two D D things in a row but hey turn up mm, alignment yeah so i'm gonna have to be true about this one i spent most of my life really really wishing that i was like chaotic neutral or just true neutral I think I'm actually chaotic good. I don't know which, where it is, but it's on the chaotic side. <laughs> it That's might, fair. Yeah, it might be chaotic good. Yeah, it definitely is. You know, to be honest with you. Even though I didn't, I didn't think very hard about it. Took a quick look inside. It's definitely going to be neutral. I can't claim the good. True neutral then? Or chaotic neutral? Oh, it's definitely chaotic neutral. I'm yeah, I said I I'm not even gonna ask about lawful neutral because that ain't no, that ain't happening for any of us. That ain't <laughs> no, fuck all that shit. Yeah, nah. <laughs> you seen the state of the fucking laws in this country? Fuck off. I mean, although you know, you don't need to get into that whole thing where The whole lawful thing doesn't necessarily mean following the laws, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) It generally does. They say it doesn't, and I'm like, yeah, but you guys called it lawful. It it does. Shut up. It does. Uh, So I know we mention it every now and then and about how I have a problem and everything. Yeah, I've been playing nothing but Persona 5, and I have over 80 hours in it. Nice. I mean, that's not counting, like, my first... This is just on the PC, the new one that I bought. I'm just, And all I want to do is go back and play it again, and I'm playing it now, and I'm like, oh, and then I can go back and play 4 again, because why not? Yeah. And then Atlas has got a new game coming out, which... They do, again, with companies I really want to check like, that out. Really, yeah, I, I want to check it out, because it's a, it's a new whole... Um, IP, new IP. yeah. Yeah, but it's still very much an Atlas game. But I like Atlas games. Their stories are good. Their characters are cool. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, or you got like, you, you can do like the Bethesda game where the story is not that good and the characters get worse every iteration. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that are going through a live Bethesda. update. Yeah, you know, they did another fucking Fallout 4 update. Did they? For what reason? Yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing changed on PC. It was all console updates. Oh. But the PC version was still updated. Mm-hmm. Why did I get an update on PC for something that's all console fucking updates? Because mm, fuck your mods, duh. Because well, fuck Bethesda, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I hear what I want to hear sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, what you guys been up to? Mm. I haven't really been playing much of anything, honestly. But I've been inspired to get back into Elden Ring. So after this, that's what I'm going to be doing all night. But, uh, what? I thought it was Ghost. No, I, no, I bought that. But I'm going to play Elden Ring first. Because it's on my brain. I had the itch. Uh, 
I have been playing Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2 religiously, as I do when I get into things. And I am now on my eighth playthrough. Where I am, <laughs> I am going through with family only right now. I am not recruiting any troops from anywhere. Just playing with my local companions and going around absolutely destroying shit as a mercenary company. And whoever wants to pay me the most, I'll do all the killing. You just sit back and chill. Decent. I really enjoy this game on a different level. It's just... <laughs> I think I enjoy war. And I think that's terrible, but that's... Just... Oh, speaking of, did you... Um, I'm assuming you haven't put any time into uh, the other one. You, first off, Mountain Blade has ruined everything for me now because <laughs> I don't like it if I can't get in there. Like, I love the option I have between I can simulate this battle. I don't have to fight every single one. But if I want to, I can absolutely jump in and murder 400 people or be murdered by 400 people. <laughs> the rest of these games are kind of like, eh... You did all you could on the back end, but, you know, we're going to do all that ourselves and deal with it. And that's cool, but Mountain Blade gave me the option to jump in whenever I want to, you know, get my sword wet, personally. Sometimes I don't even fight. I just sit in the middle of my guys and direct them and watch the Symphony of Death. And other games just don't give me that, which is why I keep playing this one and keep starting over and making it more interesting for myself and doing stupid things and I'm turning into a YouTube without recording it. I'm just stealing their ideas and playing them. <laughs> I've been having a grand time. Yeah, I tried to. I tried to get uh, him to play Crusader King, uh, Crusader Kings three with me, and we loaded in. He was like, "Oh fuck this! I need to like play some more. I need to." Get... Yeah, I need. To... It was too many options. <laughs> I have to go through my YouTube like... thing. I have to look at people. I have to see what the play styles are going on. I can't just if I if I deep nut it and just drop right in. I'll probably burn myself out in fifteen minutes just trying to read through everything. So I got I got to get a gist of it first, and then I'll be able to work my way through it. Uh, I was like, I just wanted to take over some lands. <laughs> yeah, see, I do that, that now. Game. I fucking I played that game a couple times, and I'm just like, nope. I don't. I don't want to invest the time it's going to take <laughs> for me to be good at this game. Exactly, because like it was super interesting at first because there's so much going on, but then mm-hmm. I realized, yeah, but I don't know what to do, and uh, learning how to do what I need to do is going to take like I don't know thirty, forty hours. <laughs> exactly, um, I just don't want to. Yeah, I kind of did that thing I always do with these type of games. Fuck all this other shit. Fight me. <laughs> Mm-mm. wouldn't work for me I've gotten all the fight out of my system and I'm blade I need to know what's going on now <laughs> oh yeah see I was uh, I was doing shit behind the scenes kind of stuff oh yeah I had a couple yeah, people was... try that and then I was like oh for real murdered oh <laughs> uh, yeah no I was just seducing people's wives and shit <laughs> see now you guys make you feel like you got it bad because I've been holding people captive so they can't have kids and letting their bloodline die out by keeping them in. Oh, I've done that too. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Once I catch you as a prisoner, you'll never be ransomed. I don't care how much money you offer. You are rotting <laughs> in that jail. I won't execute you because then everybody will hate me. <laughs> but I'll let you die. Oh, yeah. We love hostages. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I would always do the thing where I'm like, here... You give me your son, and here's one of my daughters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, and now you're completely loyal to me. That's how it should be. I mean, that's how it was back in the day. Like, this idea of, like, marriage for love is actually fairly fucking new. Yeah, that's why so many rural families are all related. <laughs> Because they just had to keep marrying each other to stay peaceful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Inbreeding, it's so good. <laughs> <sighs> Where are they now? I don't know. Have you seen the red on red portrait of Prince Douchebag? Yeah, I have. It's King Douchebag. Yes, yeah, King Douchebag. Get that shit yeah, right. Yeah, my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> my liege or douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean. Yeah, you know, I'm not getting into all 
What a good time. <laughs> I don't need to get into an anti-monarchy rant, do I? Like we're de- <laughs> King Charles the Third, Lord of. I don't think we're in the right country for me to give enough of a shit about it. Although I do totally give a shit about it, and they are terrible fucking people, and they should not. But I'm not getting into wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. What's There's that? one time. There are very few cases where I turn into a full red-blooded American, and that's talking shit about the British monarchy. I. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. (laughs) Absolutely fuck him. They do nothing. (laughs) Literally. (laughs) And make billions because they just own shit tons of property in England. Billions. And elsewhere. Yeah. You know. And then, you know, all that shit that they've pillaged from other countries over the years. That they refuse to give back. Yeah, but I mean, that's 90% of British museums. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let me correct. That's 90% of museums. Let's not just bring, blame the British for that. Yeah, yeah, true, true. I mean, you know, we, we learned that from watching them. I learned from watching you, Dad. <laughs> you know. Brian, please. I learned from watching you, Dad. <laughs> what? Where the fuck do you think we learned to be an imperialist scum? Oh, I love it. Yeah, we it's not just, like we kicked the it's not we, like we kicked the British out because we actually had a problem. We were like, "Hey, no, this is too lucrative. We want to do it." Yeah, now we do it better. Go America, fuck yeah! <laughs> Let us all continue to not learn any lessons from the Roman Empire. None at all. Just you know, keep being that toxic piece of shit that just talks about them like they were a good thing. <laughs> Stole all their culture from the fucking Greeks anyway. Oh, God. Okay, we are... Yeah, we off topic. We history. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. <laughs> no. Video games. Video games. Video games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, raise your mind. <laughs> fucking... Yeah. So, uh... The told you so shit, right? Mm-hmm. So you remember the whole Helldivers thing and the linking of the PSN accounts and yeah, they delisted the games in like uh, two hundred some countries and even after they were like, oh, you don't have to link your PSN account anymore, they didn't put the games back up in those countries. Mm-hmm. And I had said the shit ain't fucking over. Well, Ghost of Tsushima's PC port dropped today. Yeah, <gasps> which we know because Floyd saw it and was buying it, which is why I was like, we need to save this for the podcast. Thirty six percent downloaded. <laughs> Oh, you bought it too. I, I have a problem. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean we all do. <laughs> yes. Um. So, the game before uh, being released, and this is after uh, pre-orders have been sold, was then delisted in two hundred countries. Mm. Hey, can you guess which countries those are? The ones that force you to have a PSN. Yeah, the ones that the countries that you can't have a PSN account in. You know, yeah. the same ones where Hell Divers Two is still delisted. Uh, wow. Now, people who did pre-order in those countries, at least as far as the reports that I've heard from what I've looked through, and don't get me wrong, I'm not a fucking journalist, I didn't do a lot, okay, but I did <laughs> at least do some Google searches, which is better than some people do, so, eh, a little bit of credit. Yeah, you um, read past the headline. I did. I, You know what? That's actually... Yeah, literally. How fucking sad is it that <laughs> that's what... <laughs> that's how low the fucking bar is these days. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fuck me. Anyway, so um, a lot of people that did pre-orders in those countries, they did. They just like got a refund. Like, didn't have to ask for it. They just boom. Here's your money back. Right. And then the store page got taken down. Um. So I guess that's at least good. Yeah. But also, Ghost of Tsushima. Besides, like this one extra co-op mode. Um, for like the behind shit. What am I trying to say? The post-launch yes. shit that they put into games. Right, right. So it's not even the main game. Because the main game is all still a single player. But it's like this extra like co-op mode that you can do after. Um, like when they did like the RE Mercenaries mode. You know, it's shit like mm-hmm. that. Like just extra bullshit that has nothing to do with the game. Well, you need a PSN account to play the game. Including just the single player mode. One would think. I don't know. Maybe just... Um, 
don't let people in those countries play the bonus mode if they can't have a PSN account. Right. I mean. <sighs> but yeah. Wait. I like so it better is because. I do have a question. Because I didn't buy any of the like Spider-Man games. Where, is that necessary? Like, did you need a PSN account for that? Huh. Interesting. No, because I just, I wouldn't have. Yeah, I wouldn't have bought it because I just I refused to have a, a, a PlayStation Network account. There's no reason for it. So it's like there's there's other companies that, and I think this whole needing an account with everybody is stupid to begin with. Um, mm-hmm. I understand why companies do it because they want information about your playing habits and things you're into, because then they can sell that to advertisers, and that's passive income. That's all. That's all any of this is ever about. And fucking whatever these corporate dickheads say is a lie. It's all about that. It's always been about that. It always will be about that. That's moot point. I'm not even going to attempt to like relitigate that bullshit. Because if you don't believe that, you're a sucker. And if you're a sucker, I got nothing for you. Except to lick it. No, okay, as anyway. soon as you said um, litigate, I knew you weren't fucking around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've also been listening to a law podcast a little too much lately. I so see. I got that shit on the brain. You know what, Brian? <laughs> I was like, did he go to law school? What's I, going on? I know I kind of say this every episode. The title should be relitigated. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> hey. Because if, it be. if it's me, if I see that title and I'm looking at a podcast, I'm going to listen until I hear you say that word. Like, there's a reason they call this shit that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so you just reminded me of something. I'm going to get off topic now. I think it was last week. You'd mentioned Bloviate? Yes. So, it's so funny. I'm listening to one of my podcasts, and they use that term. Nice. <laughs> and so, I, I know what it means now due to context clues. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> I do hate it when people Bloviate. <laughs> do, do you know who's the main user of that word, Brian? Uh, no. Stephen A. Smith. He loves to throw can, out the yeah, fucking word I can bloviate. See that. He's just bloviating about shut the fuck up because you're doing the same thing. Which I was oh, I was just gonna fucking say that. It hurts me, Steven. <laughs> I'm like, shut of up. course that's his word. I'm like, but that's what you do. Your whole show is you doing right. that. You're king bloviating. Your entire career has been twenty years of bloviating. And if I could talk to him, I would just every time he says a vegeta. 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 <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. I have oh. nightmares about that from that night, just hearing him say it. Goku versus Vegeta. Who? What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> Such a big fan, man. Oh, yeah. Such a big Amazing fan. fans. Been around from the beginning, man. Yeah, now, now go apologize to the Rangers for like the third time in your career. <laughs> and by which I mean the New York Rangers, not the baseball team. <laughs> um. No, yeah, the whole thing about like the, all the companies, all they want is your information to sell you ads. At the very least, a lot of these companies that are trying to get you to do it, just make it optional. And they're like, hey, if you sign up for it, we'll give you in-game items. You know, I fucking, I hate Ubisoft, but I don't have to sign up to an Ubisoft account. They bug me about it all the time, but I don't have to fucking do it. Same thing with EA. They're like, ah, EA account. And I'm like, no. And they're like, you can't play online. And I'm like, I wasn't going to anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> I just don't say it. Really, literally, it's the only thing. All, that's all they have to do. Just make it fucking optional. Plenty of people will sign up anyway. Yeah. And then you can at least sell the fucking game to the rest of us. That was it. That's all. <clears throat> hey, speaking of Ubisoft, they've canceled another game. Oh. I thought you was going to It's not really news, the other, but... Other thing. Oh, there's another thing. For me, it is, at least. Because I, I want to oh. rant about it. Oh, please go ahead. That was my entire news point. I just like twist the knife and Ubisoft whenever I get a chance. What game did they cancel? Uh, it was a uh, Division mobile game. Oh, don't nobody give a fuck about that. Um, <laughs> Which, probably you know the company sucks it. if you can't make a mobile game. Yeah. Because like that just prints money. If you just make a mobile game, you can just print money with it. And then Ubisoft's like, we're so terrible at our job that we don't know how to do this. Uh... They announced a new Assassin's Creed game. Oh, what are you going to be this time? Um, Oh, that. Yes, that. It's it's based in Japan, right? What? So you think Assassin's Creed game. 
obviously the 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 best thing you could have did was like, oh yeah, if we're going to Japan in an Assassin's Creed game, obviously ninjas, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Samurai. Well, there will also be a shinobi. There will, but wait. We both know the main focus is going to be the black samurai. What's his name? Yes. Yasuke. How did I know you? Were... How many Yasukes are we going to see tomorrow? Um, Like five now. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you... I'm not even going to get no, into that that's rant. too short turnaround. I think that's too short turnaround. No, no, we're going to Ace yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna see, we're, we're gonna oh, no, I know. I'm just saying to, to make a costume that quickly. Yeah. Um... Next year, you'll see. Ah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I wasn't thinking about it like that. I mean, there was a... No, we're probably going to see a couple, because there was an anime, there was a, another game that featured Yasuke. There, there was a bunch of shit recently. They've been really focusing on my man lately, and it's... It feels a lot like affirmative action in First video all, games and i don't like that you know how this is gonna work out somebody's gonna find out something that they didn't want to know and they're just gonna get turned up oh no nah, he killed people what yes <laughs> yes he did yeah. a black uh, a samurai killed people duh but also it's assassin's creed right based in japan the six foot black guy is supposed to blend in and be stealthy Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Leave for an uncle the alone. Whole, <laughs> the whole, uh, the affirmative action thing there is, it's just more Asian, Asian erasure though. Like, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going, oh, well, we need to do this because this will look like we're trying. But I'm like, okay, but Asian main characters are also underrepresented in video games. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. You could have kept it. <laughs> Historically accurate and still been fucking doing a good thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So what's funny is you mentioned that. And I do remember I saw that. Not from reading games news, uh, but because of uh, black people Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one, of the, one of the things that popped up. Wait, wait. Like, I, I, how need to, do, how... I need to correct what's you up? real quick. It's not black okay. people Twitter. It's just black Twitter. You, you omit the black people. The people part of it. No, so I'm on Reddit, and it's r slash black people Twitter. That's because Floyd, the people who made black people Twitter, yeah, didn't understand that it was just called black. <laughs> but I can completely understand if you weren't yeah. black so, and you were looking at it, you'd you be like, oh, it's black I'm people just, Twitter. I'm just, I'm just on Reddit. <laughs> I don't actually get yeah. on that other shit. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so I apologize, but that's what it's called on Reddit, so that's what I'm reading it on. And it's just screenshots of Twitter, but I don't have to go on Twitter. So, but my, my favorite was so how many people are going to complain about this when they didn't complain about this? And it's just a picture of uh, the white samurai with blonde hair from Neo. Yep. And yes, there are a shit ton of complaints now. <laughs> of course. You know, and the Little Mermaid's not black either. That's not how I grew up. I'm like, no, but you grew up and she was a fucking cartoon. What's your point? Right. Hey, hey, hey. I'm still on about the Egyptian movie that had nothing but white actors. So there, there yep. are things. <laughs> there are still questions that Which need answers. Which one? Lawrence of Arabia? <laughs> Sorry. This ain't new. Um, or or uh, The Last Samurai, that white savior movie That's, with. Uh, mm-hmm. Who's that? Tom Cruise? The what? short little motherfucker. Yeah, Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> Short little fucking weirdo that follows a book by a child molester. Yeah, Pinocchio or or that one that it's a recent movie with like Matt Damon and they were like fighting on the wall of like the wall of the Great Wall of China. And I was like, the fuck? Why is this focusing around a white person? If you're in fucking, I was I was really upset. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would be as well. Well, one of the things I, I had mentioned about my favorite thing, one of my favorite things about the new Dune movie is that the Fremen were actually portrayed by people of color and especially people of the Middle East mm. because they are described in the book as a desert people. And the story is an allegory about uh, the oil in the Middle East and how basically all countries were coming and destabilizing the region to get the oil. The spice in that book is, you know, it's a it's a stand-in for oil. So 
to have all these movies and never use Middle Eastern actors for people that are based around people in the Middle East was just so annoying for so long. And the new movie finally got it right. And I was like, yes, good job. Yeah. Even the sci-fi series, at least like I'd say at least half of the actors that were portraying the Fremen were at the very least people of color. Right. Which for a small movie made in Sweden, not that bad. You know what? I digress. But you're right. So But I had an honorable mention <laughs> in there. Heimdall. <clears throat> <laughs> Not Heimdall. But I love Heimdall. I did, but the people didn't. I remember that one. What the fuck? Why is he black? Idris Elbow? No! Oh, remember. You know, the only thing that disturbed me about Idris Elba was the first time I heard him talk out of character, and I was like, why are they always British? Why is everybody fucking British? Um, there's a reason behind that. It's because they're usually cheaper. Oh, I mean, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I, I hear you on the why they're always British, but God damn it. I, I'm not speaking on the... This is not. This is not about race. I'm not speaking on the white British actors, but the black ones get on my fucking nerves. Because the fact that you can come... I don't know what you see in America on TV, but the fact that anybody from out the country can come here and just play perfect... I almost said some shit. Can just play a perfect black person. It just pisses me <laughs> off so bad. Because Idris oh, Elba... When Idris was in The Wire? D- d- fam! Stringer Bell! Man! I would have yeah. never known! I would have never known! And, I didn't! Um, I didn't! <laughs> who's the cat that plays Franklin Sate? I can't remember his name. The one that's... Uh, uh, I forget. Yeah, pretty boy Floyd ass. Anyways, <laughs> like, I hear them talk and I'd be like, excuse me? The fuck did you just say? <laughs> it's just, it, it blows my mind every time. That that voice switch up is, is something nasty. <sighs> Good voice coaches. It is. It yeah. is. But unfortunately. Also, I, I think it's helpful that 90% of the U.S. doesn't think that they have an accent, so I, I think we're easier to, like, just let it go. <laughs> Probably, yeah. But it's funny, because even though I just complained about that, I really like it the other way around. I love hearing British people be British. Like, if you, if any of you guys ever watched the Kingsman series, oh, I love hearing them talk. Oh, yeah. I fucking love it. If you ever watched the show Peaky Blinders, that's my shit. <laughs> Now I usually go for more uh, British comedies. So like the uh, IT crowd. The Office UK? I did actually watch that one. I I wasn't a huge fan of that one either, but it was better than the American version. <laughs> Whoa! Um, now like Faulty Towers is a classic. That's really good. Like even Old Monty Python, which to be honest, the show, The Flying Circus, extremely hit or miss. <laughs> And when they hit, they hit really good. And when they miss, ooh boy, do they fucking miss. But yeah, Peep Show, that's another really good one. A bit of Fry and Lori, loved that. Uh, Black Adder was good. Yeah. Was, I've been more about the British comedies. That's, yeah, see, I, as a fan of dry humor, I find British comedies a little bit too dry for me. But I'm definitely... I'm really here for like their like drama series. It's like if anybody knows me, I've been into Doctor Who for as long as I can remember. And I'm excited for e- for every new series that they come out with. Torchwood. I was gonna every say spin off of Doctor Who. Ah, I love it. No, it's Torchwood. Doctor Who is a spin off of that one. <laughs> Shut up. You know, I, a, a friend of ours at the podcast doesn't know. I told him that same thing, and he almost had a fucking conniption. I don't know why he would listen to me. If somebody doesn't watch Doctor Who, I go, no, no, no. It's Torchwood. Doctor Who's a spinoff. It was Miles Floyd. He lost his fucking of mind. And I'm just like, why would you listen to me in the first place? That'd be like listening to me about new releases in movies. <laughs> Hey, hey, you know hey. I didn't go see it. So what the fuck are you listening to me? Well, for? I listen to you on one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch Dune. I'm just waiting for the perfect moment. Like 
I need to be tired and I don't want to play no video games. I just want to lay down and watch a good movie. It's going to have to be that, that perfect moment. Well, don't be too tired because it is like three hours long. Hey, hey. E- each part. <laughs> I watched three different Lord of the Rings in the same day. I'm ready. Yeah, but did you watch the director's cuts? First of all, I was working at Comcast and we were playing The <laughs> Hobbit on the TV and it was a slow day and I happened to get into it. And I'm asking somebody like, hey, what the fuck is this I'm watching? And they explain, I'm like, <laughs> all right, fuck it. We got access. Go to the first one. Let's do it. Because I don't like being stuck in the middle of shit. And oh, was I in for a surprise. I had no idea. That movie, it took me about almost a week and a half of work shifts to get through <laughs> one. <laughs> she had to go home and really dog out the rest. Because I there's, it's impossible to pay attention and watch that and work at the same time. It's impossible. I look up for five minutes and they are halfway across the fucking world. <laughs> what the fuck happened? A lot. <laughs> and then the colors. Oh, don't get me started on the, color, the gray, the white, the the brown. What? Ah, I'm sorry. I spun off. I lost myself. It's all good. I mean, we were kind of way off the rails there. <laughs> yeah. What are rails? But, uh, hey, so according to IGN, Diablo 4 is finally good. Oh, Since okay. when did we start okay. listening to them? <laughs> I mean, I read them. Yeah, same. True, I'm not going to go fucking play it or anything. But this it gets you into the whole, like, I love being right thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, And, like, I'm not going to waste a ton of time on this. But I remember when, when they were first talking about it and they were saying they are going to, like, combine mechanics with 3 and 2. And I was just like, why? 3 was better than 2. But everyone had, you know, that whole nostalgia, nostalgia hard on. Yeah. The rose two, oh, and I'm glasses. Like, yeah, and I'm like, dude, you're like pulling shit I wrote in here straight out of what I wrote. <laughs> Fucking, am I that predictable or are we that similar? Uh, Similarity. Both. <laughs> both. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, so I guess basically now with the new season update, <laughs> the, the mechanics are becoming a lot more like three, and it's like, oh, it's finally, it's a lot of fun, and it's the game I wanted. I'm like, yeah, you wanted Diablo three the whole fucking time, right? The one that was better. All right, well, it's on Game Pass, so I guess I'll check it out now. Diablo 4. If only I could get my fucking money back. <laughs> God. I was so late. That's on you. I was so late. You shouldn't have spent it. Well, well I mean, I got I got 50% off because, you know, a friend threatened me to buy it. And it's like, it says me 30 bucks. Like, Man, just buy it. And then we play exactly four hours of it and have never touched it again because in that four hours I was like, yeah, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> and then then I was like, no, you're being a hater. So I got on there and I did I did me. I got in it. And uh, the more and more I got into it, the more and more I felt like my time was being wasted. And when, when a game <laughs> does that to me, uh, it's lights out. I'll never come back. I just, once you waste my time. Only the power of friendship can get me to play games I don't like. And of course... <laughs> My friends don't like Diablo 4, so... <laughs> yeah. But hey, if they like Diablo 3, they might like Diablo 4 now. Oh, well, Diablo 3, I am the... Until I met you, Brian, there was nobody in this friend group who played more Diablo 3 than me. I was the Paragon Lord. And then I met you, and I was like, somebody who understands. He knows. <laughs> He's built a set. He knows what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it's definitely a numbers-go-up game. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but... I, I love getting, like, a random piece of equipment and being like, oh, this is a cool skill. I'm going to reset my whole build around this to try this out. Man. Um, that was the f- most fun part of 3, I always thought, is that there were just multiple ways to do things. They all worked well, and if you built it well, you could be OP, and that was the goal. Yeah. I... So, yeah, now with the update in 4, they've, like, added the legendary stuff in where it's like, yeah, and it'll do this to your build, and it'll make you OP, and that's the point. And I'm like, yeah, so Diablo fucking 3. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, if I want to replay some shit I already played, I'd go play all the other shit I already play. So, it's SOL. You know? They have core fans. They'll be all right. Yeah. My thing is, I, I always want to play Diablo 3 on my PC. Uh, but for whatever reason, there's no uh, controller support on PC. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's all the fucking same shit as it is on the goddamn console. Yeah, I don't. It's not like I can do extra on the PC. 
Right. Haters. Haters is what we call them. Fucking haters. Yeah. I was like, whatever. I guess I... I don't actually remember if I owned it on console, though, or if it was on Game Pass. <laughs> what? Diablo 3? Yeah. Definitely console. No, I know, oh. but I'm saying... Oh, I don't know I get if what I you... purchased it. I'm pretty sure I don't, you did. I don't have... I don't have Game Pass anymore, so... I'm pretty sure you purchased it, because we was playing it before it got on Game Pass. I it, It's me, so yeah, I probably did. Yeah. Somewhere up there. Yeah. Um, So, because I just... I love adding CEOs to my list of people that can go fuck themselves. Um, Square Enix has finally admitted they have no fucking clue what they're doing. Oh my god, are you talking about the same thing I want to talk about? Uh, maybe. You go. You go. Um, wait. No. You go. <laughs> but I'm all... Okay, whatever. Okay, I'll Fuck go. Off. Yeah. Final Fantasy <laughs> Expanded Trial Bullshit. I'm sick of this shit. You can play their entire base game up to level 60 for no fucking reason whatsoever other than to have an intricate fucking storyline and a guided ass fucking time. I don't get the game. I don't understand why they baby walk you through it. There's no reason for somebody who actually fucking likes to play games to play this... I'm sorry, guys. I'm, yeah, I'm, definitely it wasn't that. I know, I know, but nope, I just have problems. That for me, I, I just, have, I, I just, I just dislike the game for a lot of reasons. I mean, that sounds like having a beat a game button. Like, okay. what's the point? So it, it, that's how I feel. Square is going to start aggressively pushing multi-platform games now, because fucking Final Fantasy tanked on just strictly PlayStation. I was like, duh, you idiots. <laughs> Nobody has a PlayStation 5. For real, for real. Yeah, so you, you mostly covered it. I don't know. The <laughs> My bullet points were games aren't performing as well as they want. Maybe release them on PC. <laughs> also make better games. Oh, uh, they're going to uh, start. The current rumor besides that one was they're going to like try to move the Final Fantasy 7 like, remakes. And... Remake and Rebirth, which I don't even want to talk about that because that's fucking stupid, but they're going to try to, the rumor is they're going to put them on Xbox soon. And I was like, well, you should have did that from the beginning. Like, Yeah, because the hype's already done. Right. So now you would have to pay your marketing budget again. My thing is, especially with the way they named it, right? Remake Reaper. It's literally just part one and part two. Yeah, and, and <laughs> also both words are those overused fucking yeah. shit that <laughs> gets used. Like Final Fantasy Seven Remake One, Final Fantasy Seven Remake Two. <laughs> Why is like you already have a number in the title, and you've already done this dumb shit where you do, like, Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X2. So, obviously, you're not against stupid naming and numbering conventions. <laughs> so, just fucking do it again. Yeah. I like, mean, listen, as much bullshit as I talked about Final Fantasy X2, when that first came out, I was like, that is stupid. You mean 11? Nope. And it's like, no, because no, no, it's no, a continuation no, 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 no. of this. And I'm yeah, like, I don't give a fuck. Because we got 13 the, and 13 It's the 11th too. fucking one. Yeah. <laughs> Right? That's what I'm saying. So fucking just do it. They're talking about doing a 16-2, I think. Ah, uh, okay. I guess. <laughs> I'm like, so fuck off. Also, nobody wanted 16 because you were like, we're going to make it dark and gritty. <laughs> and then everyone went, yeah, that's not what we play Final Fantasy for. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, I don't play Final Fantasy anymore because it sucks, but, you know, like, <laughs> I, you know, I said it before, I said it again. Final Fantasy 13, when I played it, I went, oh, you guys just want to make movies. Yeah. You know, talk, like, the auto battle button, like, oh, you don't want to fight? Just hit this, I'm like, so it's a movie then. Just make a movie. And then, when they did 15, and 15 was like, I don't know, the... Was, ugh, the combat and that was stupid. The story was stupid. That entire thing was like a fishing game. But every once in a while, Final Fantasy got in the way of my fishing game. 
Um, I'm going to be honest All with you. I wanted to do I was, is fish and cook I, in that fucking Once game. again, I find myself in a minority. I actually liked 15. I didn't think it was a bad game. I enjoyed you myself. You also like X. Yeah, so? I liked 7, too. I'm just not one of those super fanboys about it. Like, <laughs> Well, but see, this is why we can't agree on Final Fantasies. Because I dislike 7. Mm-hmm. I hate X. <laughs> and I said what I said. I liked fishing and cooking in 15, and I was like, why is the rest of this bullshit here? I don't want to do this. <laughs> but in my uh, defense, you know what? Going for drives and listening favorite. to the soundtracks is kind of fun, too. Yeah, yeah. But no, three Final Fantasy 3 is my all-time favorite. I've bought that game at least five times now. And I probably will a sixth if I have, if I have that option. Yeah, I mean, we all know six is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, the one formerly known as three. What about it, Eddie? What's your favorite Final Fantasy? I hear him talking, Eddie? but I don't hear him talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't hear him talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's going to be fun for you. Oh, uh, well. Hello? That's fine. I think we were done for the day anyway. And so <laughs> the Discord is fucking up for Eddie for the second time. Eddie, say goodbye to the wow. people. <laughs> I heard him. <laughs> All right, we love y'all. Well, goodbye! Bye-bye. <laughs> fucking professionals. Bye-bye.